Hi, Todd Simon here, fifth generation owner and chief steak evangelist at Omaha Steaks. Today I'm gonna to show you how I smoke and then grill a 36 ounce Omaha Steak tomahawk ribeye. The marbling in the tomahawk is so perfect. Uh, you can feed two hungry people uh, with one of those steaks. Or if you really wanna go crazy, you can give everybody their own tomahawk. You'll need some bigger plates though. I've got my Traeger smoker. It's already heating up, getting ready. I'm gonna start out by drying the meat off just to make sure it's ready to take the olive oil that I'm about to brush onto it. I'm just gonna lightly brush this beautiful tomahawk. And the thing I like about the Private Reserve Rub is it's got an amazing blend of spices, including really what I consider a secret ingredient, which is caraway, adds a special flavor to the meat. And because I'm a salt fanatic, I'm gonna put a little extra salt. There's already rock salt in the Omaha Steaks rub, but I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Now that both tomahawks are seasoned up, we're gonna get ready to put them on the smoker for the first stage of their journey to my plate. We're gonna smoke them on low for about an hour to get the roast going, and then we'll finish them up on the grill to get that amazing crust. Let's give these bad boys a test. You'll notice I've got my handy silicone gloves so I can just pick these up by the handle of the tomahawk. And well, that's 118 degrees in the center of that one. I'm gonna take it off. Now we've got the 36 ounce tomahawks off the smoker. And now I'm gonna put them on the grill to sear them and give them an amazing crust. Just gonna set them right down here, leaving the bone hanging off the side. So I can use that to manipulate them on the grill. And you can see already what's happening. We've got some flames starting to pop up. I want the fire to give them the perfect char, but I don't want them to get overcharged. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these over. So this one is done. I'm gonna take it off the grill, let it rest over here on the cutting board. Now I'm gonna let these tomahawk ribeyes rest for about five minutes. Uh, the experts say you should always let your steaks rest when they come off the grill. You should cook them to about five degrees less than your final temperature. Moment of truth. Cutting right through the middle of this. This is exactly what I was going for. It's absolutely spectacular.